With transition questions, remember, try to just simplify everything as much as possible. See what you would think of the, as the transition word, and then we'll compare that to the choices. Award-winning travel writer Linda Watnabe McFerrin considers the background research she conducts on destinations featured in her travel books to be its own reward. So it seems positive. McFerrin admits to finding the research phase of her work just as fascinating and engaging as exploring a location in person. So, okay, also positive. So that kind of dumb summary right there from that we need some sort of connector between two positives is going to get rid of some, some obvious answers for me. So by contrast and besides, both are words that kind of mean but, right? They're contrast words. Obviously, choice A is, but choice C is as well. And so here, there's no real contrast. We're saying something is rewarding, and then it's fascinating and engaging. That seems to be a continuation. So some of you might then be, be drawn to the word likewise which is a version of the word and, but there's, there's two ways to approach this word. First is that likewise is just almost never right. It's a very frequent SAT answer choice, but in my experience on the new digital SAT, the last version of the SAT, it is just almost never the right answer. It could be, but like it's an, it appears as a wrong answer way more than it appears as a right answer. And part of the reason I think is that likewise sounds very smart. Right? It sounds like something like a, a, an inspector would say in like the 1800s, like Sherlock Holmes or something like that. Like it feels very kind of, you know, um, academic, but it has a very specific meaning. Uh, it, it means that we're making sort of like an analogy, right? Likewise means we're saying two things are alike. And so we need to be making a comparison. So it is kind of like the word and, but also it, it has that it's a, a better synonym might be the word similarly. And so we're not really making an analogy here. We're making a, a continuous idea, but it, it's not like we're comparing things. And so that just doesn't quite fit. Now, in fact, is a tricky one too, because it's not like we're stating a fact, but that's not really what it means. In fact is kind of a word that we use to add emphasis. And so now it starts to make sense. It, it, we're emphasizing what she said in the first sentence by you know, kind of basically repeating that idea. Right? McFerrin admits to find the research phase of her work just as fascinating and engaging as exploring a location in person. So we're, we're emphasizing that she finds the research to be its own reward. We're not adding new information, really. We're just kind of, yeah, elaborating. So it's not a comparison. It's just an elaboration. In fact, most of the time that in fact is going to be right, uh, it's going to be because we have eliminated everything else. Very rarely are you going to be able to just like read a sentence and be like, oh, this is definitely one of those situations that uses in fact, or it's um, kind of cousin, indeed. These are words that kind of just fit because everything else is wrong. So this is why with these transition questions, you got to really just go through this process of elimination. Think about the sentences in a dumb way, use dumb summaries, think about the words in a dumb way, and hopefully then you can see the connections and uh, quickly find your way to the right answer. Um, sometimes it's obvious when it's like a con uh, contrast or something like that, but um, in many cases, the only way to find the correct answer is through process of elimination because you yourself might not use a transition word in that situation. So there won't be a gut feeling as to what's right. And that's okay. That still means you're doing the questions correctly.